everybody and especially welcome all Assassin's Creed fans. Today I am starting big series of Assassin's Creed Collector's Guide. Collector's Guide of Collector's Editions, of course. As I was researching for this guide, I have found out that there is plenty information and at the same time plenty rumors taken seriously, misinformation and misplacement. That is the main reason why I want to start this guide. It shall also help all those that do not have that deep pockets, but they still want to have a nice collection. So sometimes it's wise to pick one that you like the best and pick something as a complementary where you can get most of the items or the most of the items that you like. Now, before I start, let me set up rules. What will be considered in this guide and what not? First, I will not consider any digital additional content like DLCs, armor packs, equipment or multiplayer characters as a collector edition. It is because this guide is for physical collector's editions only. This at best would be changed on the artwork of the game and I was talking about artworks in my other video. Second, I will also not consider for this video any editions that only consists of any kind of standard or special disc and steelbook. I have already covered steelbooks in my steelbook guide, so if that is the case, it will not be part of this big three. Third, I will also not consider any kind of packaging changes only collector edition. However, I might mention some of these at the end of each video as honorable or dishonorable picks. Fourth, I will also not consider bundle packs with some kind of special pre-order items unless it also contains a special packaging for it as a collector edition. That means if your GameStop, for example, offered you additional poster with the game you have ordered, that will not be covered in this collector's edition guide. But again, I will mention some of those in my honorable or dishonorable picks, since it seems that some were mixed up and identified falsely as collector editions over the time. And lastly, I will also not consider anything that was part of some kind of raffle or auction only as collector edition. As I will go through this guide, I will also point out which collector's editions were mentioned to be but never properly happened. I will not proceed chronologically when exactly each pack was released, but geographically. That means that I will start with North and South America, then go to Europe, following to Russia, Asia, and ending with Australia if needed. That way you can follow up clearly what was happening in each region. Now that we have made everything clear, or so I hope, we can start. And first of them will be first game Assassin's Creed from 2007. North American region got their special steel case and that steel case, a part of the game itself, also contain bonus disc, strategy guide and some artwork sketches, comic book and a tiny 
tiny tiny figurine of Altair. And one more thing that is often forgotten, small plain cardboard on one side just plain brown but on the other side picture of Altair. What my investigation have shown that there are actually several different pictures. I have found so far three and it seems that they were randomly distributed when preparing this edition. Additional thing to notice is that PlayStation users got their bonus disc in a carton sleeve while Xbox users got their bonus disc directly in the plastic case. And of course, the top of the steel case was covered by a plastic sleeve, either for PlayStation or for Xbox. Moving on to Europe. Pre-order packs contained steel case, there was supposed to be a collector edition for PC, however I was not lucky enough to find one real picture of it. But steel cases were not the only thing what you could get as a collector edition. There there was the very first pack with a figurine. Well, literally it was just a figurine and a game. So there was bigger packaging, then there was smaller packaging with the figurine only and game was on the side of that smaller packaging. This Altair is these days a good price for many collectors. Moving on to Russia, just like Europe got their collector edition, so did Russia. And wow! Russian is actually the most impressive one, at least when it comes to number of items. They were lacking big Altair, but they have, wow, they got bonus disc, hardcover art book. Nobody in Europe or in North America got one directly in their collector edition. Then they got small necklace with the Assassin's Creed sign, and a hoodie with some kind of, I don't know if it is belt or shirt, S looks like that. All that nicely packed and one big plastic bag. So yes, this collector edition is kind of rare these days, especially when the tiny necklace or that plastic bag tend to disappear and some people were even using those hoodies. And lastly, we will go to our rarest unicorn. And that is Korean Collector Edition. It is really, really hard to get any kind of good looking pictures. So I was happy just to jump on something. But again, this one has plentiful. Another hoodie. Then a plate for Xbox 360, so that you can decorate it with your new favorite assassin. A bottle opener? Yeah, a bottle opener, that's correct. And a plastic card holder. And with it was a standard steel box, just like Europe got, with bonus disc, with small comic book and certificate of authenticity. All that neatly packed in a bit bigger packaging. This covers all collector's editions for first game. Now my honorable and dishonorable mentions. We got some nice looking packs for Director's Cut edition in North America. There is an additional picture as that pack opens like a book. Similarly to that, also Russia got nice packaging for their Director's Cut. 
before I will end this guide, there is one more pack. Assassin's Creed collection that includes first and second game released in Russia. It practically contains just the games in a nice case and also small comic book fall, obviously in Russian language. So this concludes my first part of this collector's editions guide. Next time we will be talking about Ezio. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, do not forget to subscribe and you can comment below if you have any of these collector's editions and what do you think about them. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!